Having a bedroom isn't just about having a space where you put your stuff and it's a place to sleep. It's also a space that should scream you. Here with Ehow Home and Robeson Design Studios, Room Tours by Rebecca Robeson is going to be a place where we can show you how to put the sparkle in your space. I'm Shara Robeson and I am Rebecca Robeson's daughter. Shara has a video up on YouTube about her bedroom in our home. And it's one of the most popular videos. It has oh, several hundred thousand views on it. People love it. And it's such a different look because it's all about mirrors and it's actually kind of California-ish with when that uh, espresso furniture first came in. She has a whole bedroom that was nothing but a wardrobe room. Talk about a very amazing opportunity for a girl her age. The difference in that was I really picked everything. She did not know anything. She didn't know the colors of the walls. I did everything. She was 15. The next room I did for her was her dorm room, which was really fun. And that was decorating on a budget. Well, at least for me, a budget. And we did something really pretty amazing. We had a lot of constraints around us and that's also a video that we have. Now, this time the difference is Shara. It's her taste. It's her look and her time in her life. My mom's come in to redo our place. This is my first apartment that I moved out that's my own, that I'm paying for, that isn't, um, you know, it's like my first adult apartment. It's just been a tradition in our family for my mom as we move out just to go ahead and decorate our entire apartment. And my two brothers were blessed with that and now the baby share is coming up and it's finally my turn. So I'm really excited. I was really looking forward to doing Shara's apartment because I have two other kids, two sons, and both of them have had their apartments or first condos done by me. So much fun to actually get to do your own kids' rooms for a change because I do it all the time for the rest of the world, not only on YouTube, but I do it in my real life job as an interior designer. So every once in a while, it's kind of fun to turn it on to my own family. Having a mom who's a renowned interior designer is amazing. I'm so proud of her every day. Um, whether it's seeing stuff on YouTube and how touched people are, her clients or her fans, um, and then obviously being the beneficiary of her amazing talents. It's unreal to see how someone can walk into a room and just have this vision of beauty. When you know, when you when you don't experience that, it's hard to imagine how that's possible. But for 22 years almost, I've been nothing but blown away every single time on, on every project. So it's, it's awesome. Let me tell you the funny thing about doing your own family when you're doing a room or doing a house for them. You know, for me, I work for other people. So what I get to do for a living is spend other people's money. It's a great job. Well, guess what? You get so used to knowing, oh, I need to have this, I gotta have this, oh, this is missing. Because you're looking at the perfect piece, the perfect puzzle, putting all the pieces together. When it's your own kid, you're doing the same thing, only it's your money. Completely different story. And then you find yourself going, oh my gosh, but I have to have this because this is what's gonna complete it, because that's what you do in your daily job. Only now it's my money, so it's a little different but I think it's a lot of fun to kind of pull it together. And this is why in this particular job, I did a lot of DIY things. Anymore, I don't make my own window treatments, I don't put my own wallpaper up, but in Shara's place, I did a lot of it myself so that we could save some money and make it stretch a little further. I think when Shara and I decided that since this was her first apartment and it was time for her kind of rite of passage to get her own place now, I think the thing I was most looking forward to was really um, helping her come, come together with this plan and this design that was gonna be uniquely her. I looked forward to seeing what is this gonna look like? I mean, we really didn't know. What is Shara's taste? When you have a mom like me who's kinda has a little bit of a control problem, I can kinda control a lot of issues. And in this case, I wanted to see what is Shara's taste? What does she really want? And I was gonna be excited, I knew, just to see what, how it was gonna turn out, because it was gonna show me even more about my daughter. I told my mom that I wanted my first apartment to be a little bit of anthro, mixed with a little bit of glam, mixed with not beachy, but just kind of the burlap, like the wood, um, like a lot of texture but not super girly and like Hollywood glam, you know, just kind of a, a mixture between texture and girl fused together. 
research. I had a concept for Shara's apartment from the very beginning. I guess with my sons, since I had done their places before, they were really very open to letting me kind of judge what direction we were gonna go in from a stylistic standpoint. Well, with the daughter, it's different. I'll tell you, she actually had her own ideas of what she wanted to do. The problem was, in my mind, I had already kind of set this thing in motion. So the very first thing we did is we went and we bought a sofa for her place, a sectional. I guess my influence sort of drove the direction to something a little bit more glammy and Hollywood looking. Well, it turns out that's not what Shara wanted at all. She wanted something more urban, more anthropology, more industrial. And so all of a sudden, I went into her apartment and we had already started this project of a wood wall and we had this glammy Hollywood <laughs> sofa and it was just like, this like train wreck going on in the room and I just sat back and went, oh. I mean, why would I make, the, to me it was a mistake. As a designer, that's a mistake to have two such different looks going on. And then I stepped back and I went, well now wait a minute. This is what I do. I take train wrecks and I turn them into something amazing. That's what's fun about what I do. I get to look at things that are just different. They're not what you would expect. So here was my plan on this. Bring in the kind of the glitzy girly kind of thing in a really, really subtle way and then add all this rustic, urban, anthropology kind of looking stuff. And I think really the combination of the two together, I think it turned out pretty cool. I've never seen anything really quite like it. I have seen a lot of the design. I have seen the SketchUp, which is the original design plan. And I've also seen, um, I was involved in picking out the fabrics and the sofa and all that stuff. There's a lot of furniture that's custom that I haven't even seen what it looks like. She's kind of described the dimensions, but that's about it. So there's a lot of stuff that's still gonna be a big surprise that we um, have not even seen in our apartment yet, so. I'm most excited to see the curtains and also just to see the pieces of furniture that have been handcrafted by Luis. Um, I haven't seen them at all yet, and so that would be the ottoman and then also the bookshelf, but mainly the curtains, because I don't even know what those look like at all, the colors or anything. The concept behind the curtains is to have, to soften the room. Um, originally, I think they were all gonna be the same color, and as all I know is that there's gonna be kind of a transition of color from pulling in the sofa. I know that was kind of a difficult part of the whole design process is we picked out the sofa in this cool seafoam, like pale blue um, color, and then didn't really know how to tie it in. So I think that color is being integrated with the, the curtains, but I'm not sure. And I've personally, if I can admit, was, and I should probably still say am, that was the one thing I was worried about, was the color of the curtains, because I thought it might look strange to have them varying in color. But my mom is the professional, and I can do nothing but trust the professional, because I'm not the professional, even though I like to sometimes think that I am. But um, I do know that it's probably going to be amazing, so I'm excited to see that. One of the really special parts about being able to do Shara's Place this time is it doesn't just affect her. It affects her roommates as well. And I think the girls are really, I think they're looking forward to it. I think they're excited about it. And how unique is it to be able to have an amazing first apartment? If you think about most people's first apartments, they don't look like this. They're usually cinder blocks and pieces of cardboard. So I feel really excited to be able to bless these girls the same way. I am not the only one that's actually benefiting from this amazing room design. Um, I have three roommates. Uh, Jenna, Rachel, and Megan, and the three of us are just nothing but thrilled to see everything that she has planned. It's going to be amazing, and we literally have been like counting down the hours until we get to go see our new place, so we're excited. So the moment of truth is here. Shara and her roommates are coming up the elevator right now. I just came here to kind of take a look at everything and make sure it's all ready to go. They're going to walk in that place, and I cannot wait to see their reactions because I know that not only are they gonna be surprised at how it looks from a design standpoint, I got some surprises in there for them. So this is gonna be amazing. Hello. Hello. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, welcome to your new Oh, oh, oh my God, oh, look at the TV! Oh, 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 o
heard you that you're going to do it. Oh my gosh, you got a TV. Did you even see I saw the TV. Oh my gosh. I'm speechless. This is incredible. Oh, it's so sweet. My heart is like racing. So beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> well, don't make me cry. <laughs> I think you really like it. I love it. It's amazing. This is like more than I could have even imagined. I mean, everything. Everything, Mom. Is it your taste? <laughs> totally my taste. It's like, it's, every, it's me. This is like exactly what I wanted. I think it turned out pretty cool. I seriously never had a home like this before. Literally. Never in my life have I ever had a home like this. Mm. And it's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm, I'm so blessed. Like, we're so blessed. So, like, this is... I never imagined I would live in a place like this, so... Thank you. Oh, that makes me want to cry. <laughs> no, thank you. Seriously, <laughs> like... Well, now, now you've got everything set up for... Anything that you want to do, and Shara and Megan both have their birthdays this month. You guys are having a party here, right? Yes. yes. What do you think your friends are going to say when they? Oh, they're going to die. Are they? Like I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. What do you think, Megan? I. Rachel took the words right out of my mouth. I've never thought I could ever live in a place like this. Like, I'm not going to cry on TV. I'm not going to cry. On TV. <laughs> It's just absolutely unbelievable. The wall, I mean, I don't just love the wall itself. I can just slip by the wall and then, <laughs> and then the bedroom. And I have no idea what you're even doing to the bedroom. And then the TV, and then. What is this? It's like totally metal on top. Oh, Luis made this? Yeah. <laughs> this He's amazing. amazing. This yeah. is unreal. It's perfect. Yeah, he even put the wood shelves in and everything. No. And he also made your coffee no. table. Look at this I coffee love. table. So look at you guys, let's all sit down on the table, I mean around the sofa, like, oh, okay. and see how we all fit. Look, there is, oh, oh <laughs> well I didn't mean y'all had to be on the same side. <laughs> is this marble? Look, it's all marble. That's real marble. Mm -hmm. Carrera. Luis. Or, uh, like yeah. A chemistry tube. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and then you've got this really cool retro chair over here. It's very good. I love the chair. Isn't that fun? Oh and then these gosh. are cool, these hassocks. They're actually hassocks. Yes. And they are like something sacks. that, yeah, but they're, I mean, basically they just kind of complete the whole congregational grouping kind of thing. So when you have yes. friends over, people have places to sit, or you can roll them over here and put your feet up on them. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Ooh, may have been right about the curtains. Maybe you think? I think so, because if the they're all white, mm -hmm. uh, it would have looked bad. Yeah, doesn't that look cool to have the colors? I love it this it's way. It's different. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so, I love this color. I love it all. Oh, yeah. Let's go on and take a look in your new dining room. <laughs> Come on. It's, you don't have to just eat at the bar anymore, the counter. You actually have a dining <laughs> room. So each one of you has your own chair. Oh my gosh. And if you notice, if you count, there's also one for your favorite decorator or favorite mom, <laughs> as the case may be. So each one of you has your own placemats and beautiful, like, cool goblets. Mm -hmm. And I even put moss on your placemat, so it's kind of urban and cool, and it is cool, right? It is. Yeah, awesome. These are real, so um, they're not gonna last forever. <laughs> You'll have to get some fake ones later at some I point, but for now, <laughs> yes, you can do that. Jenna, what do you think so far? I love it. I just can't wait to cook dinner and have our guests of honor over and just enjoy our new space. <laughs> I love it. I couldn't even imagine it looking like this. Oh, good. So it did, it's like beyond what you thought. Oh, oh my god. I didn't even think of like, like doing something the table. Just the attention to detail is crazy. Stuff mm -hmm. I never even thought about is here and we love it. Do you guys want to go take a look at Megan and Shara's bedroom? More yes. than anything. All right, let's do it. Unbelievable. <gasps> We have pillows underneath. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look, Look at the claw. Oh my gosh. That is, that is the claw. It, it works. That it is works. amazing. It's I'll be on time. This is my favorite. You like that? I absolutely love it. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm oh oh yes. my gosh. Mom. Perfect. Yeah? You organized Look at our that. jewelry. You can find everything now. I know, and it's not covered in dust. So I did that trick, you guys, I where love this. 
Isn't that a great, that's a Sputnik. It's super cool. But it's urban, or a uh, yes. industrial version of a Sputnik. It's ideal. And then I took the comforter, you guys, yeah. and I cut it in half like I did in your dorm room. Oh, yeah. So it kind of gave you the color that's on cute. both of the sides of the bed. So Megan, look at your pillow. I'm obsessed. No, I'll never I know. Well, now don't think of <laughs> exactly. This is your side of the bed, and don't forget it. Yes. So there you go. No more crawling into bed with me. Okay. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> now here's one thing that I did. I got a mirror. You know how you had two windows in this room, and it was so off-centered yeah. to have two beds, and then they were like really weird. So architecturally, having a third mirror exactly the same size as those windows, it sort of gives you that impression of symmetry even though it's not. And then the, the window treatments just kind of camouflage all yeah. the drywall in between. That kind of worked out, didn't it? Totally. Yeah. Beautiful. yeah. So smart. Good. So these are some pieces of art <clears throat> that were done by Debbie Wood. Isn't that cute? Tradition. And then girls, look at this. Leather. A full-length mirror. A full-length mirror. No more going like this. Yes. <laughs> or sideways. Like, what? You're gonna be in here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come in here every morning. You're like, hello, oh, your mirror. <laughs> I won't like that. Right, but this is leather, covered in leather. No. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. We did a few things, not a lot, but a few things in your bathroom. Hmm. Would you like to see? I'd love to. All right, let's go. Okay. So let's check it out. Oh. Hello. Oh my gosh. gosh. Love Mom, it. that mirror. Do you like it? And the shower curtain, it goes all the way up. Yeah. It makes it look so much bigger in here. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is incredible. I love the fabric. And I also love made the fabric. The, oh. the plastic one all the way up, too. Oh my gosh. Look how nice it looks when it doesn't have about 700 different products on oh. the counter. Let's go take a quick look at what your counter looks like first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hateful. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, this is pretty much it. Mom, this is amazing. As you like it. Hey, listen, I want you guys to give another group hug and say thank you to Grayson. Grayson, can you come on out? Hey. Hi, How are you guys? Hey. I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> I'm going to come over and hang out with us. Hello. We're better. making dinner, didn't you? So Grayson did, you know, as you guys know, he did a lot. And it, I mean, when I think about it, starting from you guys sanding every piece of the wood on that wall to get it to where we are today. So I think not only is it a group hug, it was a group project yeah. of sorts. Mm -hmm. You guys haven't been as involved but lately? Led <laughs> great. great. I'm so glad you like it. It really makes me thank happy. You. Honestly, you're thank so you much. so much. You are so amazing. Oh. I hope you always remember that. Oh, oh. Thank you. Get over here. Okay. When I walked into my apartment, can I just tell you, I was blown away. I mean, I've lived with my mom. I've seen several, more hundreds of projects of hers. I've lived in rooms that she's done. But this apartment, I don't know if it's because it's my own apartment and it's like finally my home, but it is honestly more than I could ever have even imagined. Having our apartment redone has been an absolute blessing, the biggest blessing I could have ever imagined. And just being able to, being our age and having a room like this, or having a place like this in general is very rare, I feel like. And I think it's going to be a very great place to hang out and have friends over. And I like the wood wall, the wood wall is my favorite. So I'm so <laughs> excited for everyone to look at it and hang out in that room. Amazing. Absolutely. Better than the curtains, let me tell you. <laughs> the most amazing thing I've ever seen, they made Unreal. the room. No, the wood wall I thought was going to be the best part, and the curtains, <laughs> and then my bed, and then the light fixture. I'm, I'm never leaving my house. I'm speechless. It Absolutely is. speechless. It's beautiful. We're very excited to have Megan's birthday on Friday. <laughs> the wood wall is all of our favorites, but I think the most amazing part were the curtains, and then also the chandelier. The chandelier is amazing. It's it's like retro, but it's modern, but it's rustic. It's like all of these different styles that I wanted all in one, and it totally ties everything together. Um, the bookshelf that Luis made was awesome. It's super functional, and it fits all four of us. We all have books from school or whatever, um, and we can fit everything that we needed in there. And um, also the wallpaper. The wallpaper was amazing on the, the wall by my, my, by my room. It's like glittery kind of, not glittery, shimmery is a better word. It was shimmery, but it has that mirror on it, so it's like super textured. It's amazing. I And the studs, 
let me tell you, it was, I just can't, I can't even, everything. There's like, how do you pick one part? It was amazing. I am most looking forward to having a home. I, it's a place where it's not only beautiful, but we get along, we can have our coffee together in the morning, we can make breakfast, we can have dinner parties, whatever it is, it's, it's a home. And it's ours, and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. and we're proud of it. We're proud of it, <laughs> we're really proud of it. We're blessed and we're proud of it. Mom, thank you so much for blessing me and my roommates. It's honestly like, thank you isn't even enough, but you are so beautiful, you are so amazing. I don't know any other designer that can whip up the kind of apartment that you just did for their 22 year old daughter, but I am probably the luckiest girl in this entire world and I am so blessed that you're my mom, so thank you. How exciting was that? Just to see these girls' reactions, I mean, honestly, it really makes all of the work and all of the sewing and all the getting up early and staying up late worth it just to see how excited they were and you know just to know that all those little surprises that they had no idea were coming totally blew them out of the water. It was amazing. Ah, amazing.